Let's shake, swipe and scroll. All of them to take screenshots. Today we'll be looking at the easiest ways that you can use to screenshot on your Android device. And we'll also set up custom macros for screenshots as well. We'll also look at the way to take long screenshots like these. So stay tuned for that till the end of the video. Let's begin. The first one would be to use the traditional screenshot buttons. That is, we'll be using the power button and the volume down button at the same time. Once you do this, it will immediately give you a pop-up that a screenshot has been taken. And also using this method is also applicable for almost every Android smartphone out there. Whereas the other two methods might be a little different depending upon your smartphone model and also your brand. Now let's also go through the second method, which is just using a screenshot gesture. Now in order to set that up, let me go over to settings. Let's search for gestures. There's gesture shortcuts right over here. There's this option of take a screenshot. So we have this gesture available of slide three fingers down. And once I have it enabled, it should start working instantly. Let me try this gesture of swiping down with my three fingers. Here you go, I have my screenshot taken instantly. Now this one might vary from smartphone to smartphone, but every smartphone would have a gesture shortcut for screenshots as well. Let's now head over to setting up a custom macro for taking screenshots. And to do that, I'll simply go over to Google Play Store. Let's search for the app MacroDroid. Let me simply install it. Now once you have it installed, this is how MacroDroid app should look like. This is a really useful app for creating macros on your phone. Let me also show you how you can set up macros for screenshotting. Let's click on add macros. Over here you will find the option of triggers, actions and constraints. Now trigger is basically what action do you want it to execute whenever you perform the trigger. So for us, let's set up the actions first. Let's go over to camera and photo and click on take screenshot. Let's also click on OK. It's asking to give it permission, so let's allow that. Now let's set up a trigger to take screenshot. Let me add a trigger from here. Let's click on sensors and there's this option of light sensor. Let me click on it. Let's now set up a lux value lower than what is available right now. Let's say I set it to 1000. Now once I have it set up, all I have to do is just give it a name and save it. Now you can see I have set up my macro as swipe screenshot. Let me quickly try it out. Here you go. I mean, it's that easy to set up custom macros to take screenshots in this way. In the very same way, I can also add a macro. Whenever I shake my phone, it should take a screenshot. Let's do that quickly. So over here under the sensors option, we'll be selecting shake device. Let's also add the action of take screenshot. Let's give it a name and done. We are ready to go. Let me also try this out. Here, my screenshot has been taken. So yeah, let me also show you the way to take long screenshots as well. Let's say I wish to take a long screenshot of my YouTube app. In order to do that, I'll simply swipe down with my three fingers and click on this scroll button. I can simply tap on it and scroll down to take a long screenshot and then simply click on done. Now once you have it, this is how it should look like. Let's click on save and there you go. This is how you can take a long screenshot of any sort of app browser or even your WhatsApp chats. I mean, it's really useful if you have to share something with someone. Hope you found these different methods useful for taking screenshots. Do consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.